I'm Chatina with APT and I'm here to give you the rundown on a few of the hottest watches for weightlifters or cross trainers. I put three watches to the test, the Fitbit Versa, the Samsung Galaxy Watch, and the Garmin VivoActive 3. Keep in mind that the opinions in this video are my own and you may not always agree with them. However, I encourage you to keep the conversation going in the comments below. In order to see how the watches performed against each other, I tested them in the gym head to head. I had one watch on each, each wrist to make sure they were enduring the same conditions. By the end of my testing, I completed three workouts that allowed each watch to go up against the others. Something that I was really looking to test is heart rate tracking. I like to know how hard I'm working. This feature comes standard on essentially every smartwatch since it's in a perfect position to measure your heart rate. In my test, the Vivo Active 3 proved to be the most consistent overall, while the Fitbit tended to read a lower heart rate measurement. The Galaxy Watch frustrated me when it came to heart rate. It would stop displaying in the middle of my workout. I'm not sure if it was because of the sweating or if it was just slipping out of position. Looking at calories burned, the Vivo Active 3 and Galaxy Watch gave similar readings while the Versa underestimated in comparison. This is probably because of the lower heart rate measurement. So if you're looking for accuracy, I'd recommend either the Galaxy Watch or Vivo Active 3. Another thing to consider is the physical weight of the watch. When I train, my arms are constantly in motion and I do a wide range of movements in one workout. I don't want anything sliding around and distracting me. The Galaxy Watch was by far the heaviest of the three and was slipping down my wrist. If you have small wrists, I recommend the Versa or the Vivo Active 3 since they are lighter and fit more flesh to the skin. Now let's talk about screen quality and functionality. The screen that impressed me the least was the Vivo Active 3, but because of its dimmer lighting and lower resolution, it's capable of lasting up to seven days with one charge. The others only last about half that long. I also played around with different workout settings on each watch. The Galaxy Watch has the most settings which get as specific as squats or push-ups. However, this feature didn't benefit me because I do a wide variety of exercises in each workout. Switching the setting on the watch every time would slow down my lift. Something that I found useful was the strength setting on the Vivo Active 3 that helps monitor your sets. And the Versa is the simplest of them all, which I actually enjoyed. All I had to do was turn the setting on once and didn't need to touch anything else. Each watch has so many more features and capabilities, it will be impossible to share them all in one video. If you want more details, make sure to check out my blog post or head to app.com by clicking on the links below. But let me tell you some highlights you shouldn't miss. Some features I appreciated on the Vivo Active 3 were the heart rate zones and VO2 max. They kept me accountable even during the earliest 5 a.m. workouts. Also, the smooth dark look of the watch doubles great as a fashion piece. If you're looking for something to go beyond your fitness needs, I recommend the Galaxy Watch. You can download almost every app from the Google Play Store onto the watch. This watch is highly comparable to leading smartwatches on the market. And the Versa is Fitbit's best watch to date. As a previous Fitbit user, I was extremely impressed with the upgrades put into the Versa. Not only is it amongst the most affordable smartwatches, it also has great screen resolution and a modern look to it. All three watches are great picks, but for weightlifters in particular, I recommend the Vivo Active 3 as it is the most consistent with tracking heart rate and calories burned while not being too heavy that it bothers you during a lift. So which one would you pick? Make sure to let us know in the comments. As always, we appreciate you watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe so you can get updates whenever we post new content.